all right good day everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is fred today we're going to be looking at the involute of a circle how to construct the involute of a circle now you could be asked to construct the involute of a triangle of a square of a heptagon hexagon nonagon etc all right but we are going to be looking at the involute of a circle now uh, it doesn't matter the particular uh, type of involute you've been asked to construct the procedure are similar okay the procedures are similar so to construct the involute of a circle say um, 50 millimeter diameter okay so if a circle is given to be 50 millimeter that's the diameter so you have to stretch 25 all right you stretch 2.5 centimeters or 25 um, millimeters okay and draw the circle and that makes the diameter what um, 50 millimeters or 5 centimeters automatically now, how do you start? First of all, draw a straight line, all right? After drawing the straight line, then drop a perpendicular on the line, okay? So you just place your set squares there, okay? Any length of your choice, drop a perpendicular on it, all right? So with your 25 already stretched, remember, depending on the diameter that's been given to you, so you need to, at this point, allocate the center of the circle you're about to draw, okay? So there, that's the center of my circle, all right? So place here at the center and draw the circle, so that's the circle now remember everything here are what thin lines okay so drop a perpendicular here because you're going to divide the circle into 12 equal parts so you draw a perpendicular here on the circle okay at the center you extend All right, then you divide into 12 equal parts. Okay, so there you have it, 12 equal parts, okay? Now, take one of the divisions, since all the divisions are equal, just take one of them, say 0 to 11 or 0 to 10, they are all equal. Take one of the division and step off 12 divisions on the straight line. So this is 1, 2, three up to 12. Okay, so there it is, zero, one, two, three to 12, okay? So what do you do next? Now, you have to drop perpendicular lines to these lines you're seeing here, seven and one, uh, eight and two, nine, that is line three, nine, line two, eight, and so on, okay? How? Now remember the first one has already, already been drawn, like six, zero, okay? And now this is what a perpendicular you can use your set square to achieve that okay so this is a perpendicular already okay so you now move towards seven one okay position your set square on seven one all right make sure it is properly aligned now drop a perpendicular a thin line there did you see that all right now move to eight two line eight two make sure you don't miss this point here and this place is properly aligned okay you drop a perpendicular here you can see they are 90 degree, degrees so as you proceed the lines become longer so you go to nine three like this drop and so on okay so there we have it now remember it has to be what perpendicular that is 90 degrees like check 2 and 8 you can see this is what 90 all right 3 and 9 90 4 and 10 90 and so on all right you have to ensure that now the involute will start from zero all right and it will stop at 12 so how do we locate the other point very simple now still on uh, this same radius here. You take one of the divisions here. All right. Okay. So you now move to one. Here is already zero. So the next one would be what one. So you step off just one. All right. So we have one point here. Now remember this is two. So you will move two steps. One. Two. You could you could also use uh what's it called now? A pair of divider to achieve this. So this is the next point.
point for three you move three steps one two three we have it here then four four steps and so on so there you have all the points now there are other ways you could uh, actually achieve this okay you could also use a pair of divider you just stretch one of the distance like i said before okay so you just come over here so we have one there then when you come here you just step off you just step one two all right sorry my pair of divider is not stable all right and you come over to three just step off one two three and you have it there and so on then you could also use another method you could come here uh, zero is already there place it on zero stretch one you place it here you cut one place here you stretch two come to two you cut two place here you stretch three okay you needle on three and you cut three you stretch four you cut four and so on so different method now what you do next is you use a flexible curve or a flexible broomstick or a french curve to draw the involute okay so there you have it an involute of a circle